Hi guys, my name is Ozzy and today I'm going to be doing a real vs fake comparison of the Air Jordan 11 Concord. So I gotta play smart. I've been getting dope teams every time my phone rings. It's so and this is the release from December 8th, 2018. And basically, these are both the right pair of each shoe. One of them is the real and one of them is the fake. So go ahead and leave in the comments below which one you think is real and which one you think is fake. I'm going to go ahead and give you like 5 seconds to go ahead and pause this video and then just go ahead and comment. Alright, that should have been enough time. So let's go ahead and get straight into the review. So I'm using the right pair of each shoe. And usually for my comparisons, I always keep the real on the right and the fake on the left. So there you have it. And you're probably like, wow, these look pretty identical. And honestly, this is the closest, like... Fakes I've ever seen in my life. Like literally, these are like beyond super close. So it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. I could have just bought a pair of fakes. Honestly, the way these are looking right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the small stuff. So basically, the box labels, the boxes are like a, a different size. Like the real pair, the box is wider. I mean, if you look at it, but. From a distance, you'll never be able to know that unless you have the boxes side by side. So, as you can see, this part goes down further, and then this part is up higher when you have the boxes side by side. This one, it says, let me see if they have the, they both have the same thing. The size labeling is exactly the same on both pairs. It has the exact same words. The fonts are slightly different. And the suggested retail, the font is a little bit bigger. Box comparisons. As you can see, the box sizes are like nearly identical, honestly. So I'm just going to take the top off and we'll look at the inside of the box and see if we can find anything that sticks out. So on the real pair, okay, this is, the, this is where the size sticker label is right here. And inside here, the dimensions of the box are not written, as you can see. But on the fake pair, the dimensions of the box are printed out like right here, which is facing the opposite side of the size label but on the real pair the dimensions on the box are on the side are like right behind the box label so this is the label and then on the inside right here is where the size dimensions are so that might just be a quick way to tell if the shoes are fishy just off the box alone so yeah go ahead and pay attention to that and I guess now we'll just go ahead and compare the shoes side by side because that's the one that's most important. But just if the box looks fishy, then the shoes are most likely fishy as well. So let's go ahead and compare. Almost got myself for a second, but all right. So as you guys can see, let me put the box a little bit closer so you guys can see this. The real pair is slightly taller, as you can see. The fakes, they have a wider cut ankle area I'm just gonna let you guys see from the back so it makes more sense as you can see both of these have not been worn they're both brand new dead stock and this one has a wider but the new pair is tighter and it still has the shape a perfect shape like it has been broken in this one is all wide and flimsy and the 45s on the back of these shoes look both look very different as you can see as my camera starts to focus. All right, as you can see, on the real pair, the five goes straight. The top of the five goes straight, but on the fake pair, it slants upwards. As you can see, you see that? It slants upward, it's not straight like this one is. So you guys can see the clear difference. And then another thing is that on the fake pair, the triangular point right here it's not really let the camera focus the triangular point on here is not really that defined the white part of the shoe kind of swallows this part up but on the real pair the triangular point is very clean and it's not sloppy right here so that's just another thing you want to look out for 
but other than that the bottoms are pretty close and another thing you want to look out for is the color of the of the soles for the fake pair the bottoms are way icier like they were they have more of a blue tint like they both have a blue tint but as you can see the fake pair has a a blue tint that's way darker and then the real pair the blue tint is lighter so let me show you guys side by side hopefully it's showing up on the camera let me turn off this light so it looks a little bit more obvious as you can see the fake pair has a darker blue tint and the real pair has a lighter blue tint so if the soles look way too blue then that's a good indicator to tell if the shoe is fake or not and the cut for the patent leather is pretty much identical for both shoes and then another thing that I noticed when I was looking at these shoes before I started recording was the toe box and I think the toe box is like very important part of being able to tell if the shoes are really fake as you can see you can see through the toe box for both of the shoes but for the fake pair it's less cloudy so it's you can't see as much of the toe box but on the real pair it's way more it's less how do I describe this like on the real pair you can see the the patent leather underneath a lot more clearly but on the fake pair it's kind of hard to see you can see it a little bit but on the real pair this is how it looks you gotta get both of these in the camera once so you guys can see what I'm talking about Although I this won't make sense but look at the toe box on both of the shoes the patent leather is more visible on the real pair and the patent leather is less visible on the fake pair because this part is like more cloudy so that's just another thing to look out for and wow the laces are actually just literally the same size okay so, okay so the laces are the same size but the thing that's different is look at this the lace the lace right here for the fake pair the laces are really tight like the the diamond pattern on the laces is very tight I'm gonna have to zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit better so the diamond pattern for the rope is very tight very packed together but on the real pair the diamond pattern is a lot looser it's not as close together so I want to go ahead and put them both together so you guys can see them go ahead and zoom out a little bit so look, look at the way the laces look. The little rope is, the rope laces are, the, the little threading is a lot tighter on the fake pair. And on the real pair, there's like more spacing between the rope laces. So just so you guys can see side by side. And then another thing that I think is a pretty big indicator is that the Jumpman Jordan right here in the middle like when you when you pull up the mesh of the of the mesh right here this part can go up so basically this this is always supposed to stay in between the third spacing but on the real pair even if you pull it up it's not going anywhere it's going to still stay in the third spacing as you can see so just like a little heads up for that and then also, another thing I noticed, on the fake pair, the, the, since both of them, they're not tied up to the very top, look, look at the, look at the way the, the loophole, the lace, how do you say, the eyelet for this shoe right here, it has like an opening, but for the real pair, the opening is tightly, is tightly packed together, because this one is just flimsy. Like they didn't, they didn't like manufacture it properly, so it's all loose and hanging. But on the real pair, right here, it's straight and packed tightly together. So look at that in comparison. This one is all straight, and then this one is all loose and open. So I think that's another great indicator. So overall, doing this real versus fake comparison just showed me that both shoes, like 
off just by looking at it from a distance, it would be nearly impossible to tell these shoes apart. It's only having them up close together that you can actually see like a proper comparison of which is really fake. So at the end of the day, it just comes down to quality control. The fakes, the shape is a little bit off, but it's, it's very slight. If a pair of jeans was covering this part, you would literally not be able to tell which one is real or fake. Because look, this toe box is skinnier than that one, but this one, you can only tell it's skinnier than that one because they're right next to each other. So, And by the way, factory lace, this is how they look. The laces are tucked in behind the tongue. So that's another thing to look out for as well. But it might not be the only indicator. And let's go ahead and look at the the quality of the Jumpman on both pairs. Let's go ahead and zoom in. So, as you can see, the Jumpman are actually stitched like pretty identical, which is pretty funny. I would say the only problem is like when you look at the bottom of the feet. For the fakes, let me go ahead and show you guys. Look at the bottom of the shoe. The bottom of the shoe, they didn't even complete the stitching. So it should be rounded, but it's a straight line instead of being rounded at the foot. But for the real pair, the bottom of the shoes right here. Let the camera focus real quick. The bottom of the shoe is actually rounded. It's not like a straight line. So make sure you're paying attention to that when you're looking, when you're legit checking the shoes. And another thing on the fake pair, the head has like so much like curvatures on it but on the real pair the head is a smooth circle it's not sloppy so like look at this let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the both together now my camera is kind of I'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit more but yeah look at the jump man one of them is a lot needed than the other. The fake, the, the curves are just sloppy and like they go in and out. But for the real pair, the curves are smooth and rounded properly. It's not like a sloppy line. It kind of looks like a fifth grader drew this one. And this one right here, it looks like it was done neatly. All right, so let's go ahead and look on the inside of the shoe. We have the shoe tree for the fake. And then we have the shoe tree for the real. So I'm stuck in here. Oh, wow, these literally look identical. Like the texture feels the same. I would just say that this one, like it's hard to see on camera. So like, I don't even know if saying this makes any sense, but for, for the real pair, which is this one, the Jumpman is more defined. This one, the lines are like soft and they blend in with the purple. But it's kind of hard to see. But if you look at them together, you kind of see what I'm talking about. One of them just blends in more with the shoe tree. The real one has the more defined lines around the Jumpman. And this one, the lines are kind of just like, they're not really bolded around, if that makes sense. You guys go ahead and pause and look at it for comparison. This is the real and this is the fake. Notice the soft lines on the fake and the bold lines around the real. Okay. And let's look at the Nike Air on the fake. Get a good comparison. Usually I would use a UV light to tell which one is real and which one is fake. But for these particular shoes, the UV light didn't really do much to help. Which is kind of funny because usually the UV light would help a lot. So look. On the top is the real pair and on the bottom is the fake pair. Now I'm sure a lot of you can probably see like the biggest difference. On the fake pair, look at look at the E on the Nike. It's all sloppy. Look at that. So just focus. Look at the E on the on the Nike for the fake pair. It's all sloppy and the lines aren't even straight. So basically, it comes down to quality control. And then on the real pair, the E is nice and neat. And then on the fake pair, the E is sloppy. So you guys can see them both side by side. The real on the top and the fake on the bottom. So I think this is a pretty big, important feature. So yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. So hopefully this helped you guys. If not, just go ahead, DM me on Instagram. 
Usually I would use a UV light to tell which one is real and which one is fake. But this video, <laughs> the UV light is kind of worthless because they don't have any like special lights lighting up. They both light up the exact same way under the UV light. So not much has really changed. So like right here, look at that. Nothing is really popping up on the shoes. I can turn off the light and still, you see that right here? Not much is really popping up on the shoes. They're both, they both illuminate the same color. The only thing I would say is that on this pair right here, there's like a, a paint stain, but it's kind of hard to see in this light. But basically the UV light is not really gonna help you for this particular shoe. There isn't anything off. Oh, and there was one more thing I forgot to mention. I feel like I'm gonna have to turn the light for this one. I almost forgot to mention this, but for the soles, on the fake pair, look at the AirPods, right? The little circles right here. I gotta turn the shoe over. So basically, on the real pair, the circle right here, it doesn't go inside of the purple. Like it doesn't go under it doesn't go under the purple pod right here. You see it? There's space between it. But on the fake pair, the line for the small circle is going directly into the purple. So that's just another thing. Look at that. There's space between the white circle on the real and on the fake, there's no space. It literally touches the purple attraction pod. So that's just something that you might want to look out for as well. And uh, that's going to be all for this part of the video. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed the video. Go ahead, like the, press the like button, press the subscribe button, and press the bell next to my channel name to be notified when I upload a new video. And go ahead, share this with your friends. Be careful out there when you're buying online. Uh, I suggest using StockX or GOAT because they're able to verify if a shoe is real for you. So if you're buying off on, on eBay or Amazon or something, there's like a 50-50 chance that you could be getting a real or a fake. So be sure to look out for these differences. And a lot of times, when I notice when people are selling fake shoes on eBay, they never give close-up shots of the shoes, or they never have the receipt. And if someone, if these shoes just came out and they're the real deal, of course, they should still have the receipt because it's not like it's an old shoe. So anytime you're buying a brand new shoe and it's like been a few days old, they should always have the receipt. So just be on the lookout for that. So yeah, I think I actually have the receipt inside the box though. Cause how do you lose the receipt when you just bought the shoes? Look at this. For the real pair, it's from Shoe City. It's from Shoe City. And then the retail was $233.20. But that's going to be all for this video. And I'm out. Peace.